what a lot of these review websites do is they find the ones that have the highest payouts for the affiliate marketing. That's why you see Bluehost on everything. Everybody recommends Bluehost. Well, they had some outrageous affiliate programs where they were paying affiliate marketers a lot of money compared to other web hosting sites. So Bluehost showed up everywhere as the best hosting for super cheap. But one of the things these comparison websites do is they're comparing a lot of the same types of hosting to each other. So you'll see that even this one, it says starting at 296. So what all of the comparison websites do is they will list a whole bunch of different hostings that are between $3 and $6, and which is the lowest starting price starting at, and they will compare them all, but they're all the cheapest plans of pretty much the same type of hosting, which is Apache Linux hosting. And if you don't know what that means, that's okay. I'm going to try to save you some time on your research. In fact, I don't think you have to do any at all with this video and this course. I'm going to try to save you a lot of time. I don't want to get too technical, okay? Because you need to focus on your business and your marketing. You don't need to focus on learning how to be a hosting administrator. And his name is Wes Davis. Hello everyone. Okay, we are going to look at hosting. And one of the reasons we're doing this is because there is a big misconception on hosting out there and that's partially due to affiliate marketing and review and comparison sites. So go ahead and open up the links for this video that are underneath the video. You should get all of those opened up first and we're going to talk about hosting. Now there is several different options for hosting depending on what you're going to do and what kind of business you're going to start. First off, if you are doing an e-commerce site and you are planning on using Shopify, we will be working on completely different platforms in this course than you. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Shopify. Most of the stuff I've done in e-commerce in the past has still been on WordPress using WooCommerce. But Shopify has its own hosting, its own platform. It is really user-friendly, but it's also not very customizable. And you don't have control over a lot of the technical stuff, which is why I don't use Shopify. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it if you do. It's just that we will be working on completely different platforms. All of the writing stuff, ranking stuff, and marketing stuff will all still work. With that said, let's pretend like everyone is using WordPress. Now, what are our hosting options? Well, in my opinion, we pretty much have three. So first off, if you are on a budget, and which most of us are, I use shared hosting quite a bit. And so this is shared hosting from a2hosting.com. And they actually have incredibly fast servers. They kind of overmarket it a little bit with this whole 20 times faster than your average server um, with the turbo and all that. But they are incredibly fast. On some of the benchmark testing that's been done, this shared hosting is typically about twice as fast, at least twice as fast as the average shared host out there in its server response time. This is a really good hosting to start out with if you're on a budget. But I'm going to go into some other types of hosting as well. Now, on this, you see several different types. It says shared hosting, reseller hosting, virtual private server hosting, and dedicated hosting. Well, I think we should do shared hosting. If you're going to use A2 hosting, do the shared hosting. If you were to do one of these other types, maybe, maybe not the reseller hosting. But if you were to do virtual private server hosting or dedicated hosting, I would recommend a different company. If you are doing some type of business model where you're trying to start your own hosting company and you're trying to resell hosting, you can do something like this. I, I've never done that business model. I think it's better to just do affiliate marketing at that point. But let's look at the shared hosting. So once we go in here into the shared hosting, which is what you want if you're trying to stay within that, that small budget there, shared hosting is great for simpler websites that don't have a lot going on. If you are building something with member or learning functionality or something like that, 
Shared hosting may not be as reliable. And you have to remember, you are sharing the server resources with hundreds and sometimes thousands of other websites. Now, see, here's the 296. That's the light hosting. And then they have the one called the swift hosting. And then they have one called the turbo hosting. And they have some of the different features here. This is the one that I would get if I were you. And the reason for that is because it has, they call it their turbo boost, but it uses the Lightspeed server. And it, has, it comes with the Lightspeed caching plugin, and it is an incredibly fast server. Now, this one will be fast too, but this one could save you up to a second of page load time on, on your pages. Now, one second may not sound like a lot, but whenever you're talking about ranking, it can be. So this one also you can do with limited websites. They use solid state drives. They don't limit how much data you can transfer. Unlimited email accounts, all the typical stuff. But all of them come with a free SSL certificate that you can install on your domain. And let me click on full details. The big difference is the turbo, which... Uh, these, these are Apache, and this is a Lightspeed server. And Lightspeed is a lot faster. So, on a budget, this is the plan, or this is the plan that I would get, the Turbo. But if you're on a really small budget and you're really trying to stay under that $500 for your entire business model, I would do the $296 per month. Now, in order to get that rate, I think you have to buy three years. So, let's say we were to get this one. I'm just going to type something in here. Typical ASDF. All right. So, oh, there's the discount. Okay. So, in order to get that price, you have to buy it for 36 months. But here's what I was talking about with the data center. So, if you're in the United States, you can actually pick the region in the United States that you would want to focus on. If you want to have fast access to your website from anywhere in the world, you need a CDN like Cloudflare. A CDN is a content delivery network. It's separate than your web hosting. I'm not going to go too deep into CDNs in this course, but it's important to have if you want fast access from all over the world. So you don't have to worry about any of the add-ons or anything like that if you're going to go with this, this hosting. Now, like I said, I would use the Turbo hosting. So that way you can do the Lightspeed server with the Lightspeed WordPress plugin. That is the platform we are going to be working on. If you pick the cheaper hosting, you just won't have the Lightspeed server cache plugin and you will have to use a different caching plugin for your website to speed it up. We'll talk more about that later. So let's talk about my new favorite, cloud hosting. With traditional hosting, like on the shared hosting, you will have a computer that acts as a server. And with shared hosting, you share that one computer with hundreds and sometimes thousands of other people. So you share that computer and those resources for that computer between lots of other people. With cloud hosting, which is also different than dedicated hosting, cloud hosting uses an entire network of lots of different computers together to run a software that creates virtual servers. So whatever, whatever resources you get, they're yours, and it's not shared with anyone because it's software-driven, not hardware-driven. So this means a lot of other things as well. With shared hosting, if a part on the computer goes down, then the server goes down or has an error. But in cloud hosting, if one of the computers completely goes down, your website doesn't go down at all. It's fine. It's actually the software that's being ran by a huge network of computers that makes your virtual server. Cloud hosting is really scalable. It's great for a lot of different things. And I really think it's the future of all apps and, and hosting services in general. So why would you use cloud hosting? If you have a website that's not simple, 
like if it's not just a few pages in a blog, if you have a membership-based site or if you're selling learning or if you're hosting any type of software or anything like that, you don't want to use shared hosting. You want to use cloud hosting. And there's a lot of different reasons for that. One of those reasons is load balancing. And I don't want to get too technical, but if you throw a whole bunch of users at a shared hosting server or even at a dedicated server box, it will become slower and slower and slower using those resources. And of course, with shared hosting, you have to share those resources with other people. But cloud hosting has a great way of doing load balancing that makes it be able to take a whole lot of traffic and process a whole lot of requests without slowing down the server. Okay, so that's all the technical stuff I'm going to say in that regard. Let's look at the pricing. You do have to have a little bit bigger of a budget for cloud hosting. So if we go down here and we look, there are several different cloud hosting companies that Cloudways uses. So you could go to DigitalOcean or Vulture or Amazon Web Services and purchase their cloud hosting on its own, but then you'd have to set it up, you'd have to install a platform interface of some kind on it, and you don't want to be a hosting administrator. You want to focus on your business. And Cloudways is this great platform that makes it really easy to use these services. As you can see, Amazon Web Services is on here and it's really expensive. Google Cloud is on here and it's also really expensive. But if you look at something like DigitalOcean, it starts at $10 per month and you can actually try Cloudways for free. So if you have the budget for it, I highly recommend using Cloudways, at least give it a try. I have absolutely become obsessed with using Cloudways lately and I've started using them for a lot of my different websites. And the one that I use is Vulture. And there's a few reasons for that. For one, it has more data centers. If you want to pick the data center closest to you or closest to the demographic of people that you are trying to target, it has more than DigitalOcean. But also, Vulture just came out with what's called high-frequency computing, and it's $13 per month instead of $11 per month, but it is really, really worth it. It has some type of special processing and server-side caching, something like that. The load testing on it between the standard Vulture server and the high-frequency Vulture server is insane. This thing can handle pretty much anything. So if you go with Cloudways, I highly recommend High Frequency Cloud. It is super fast. It's really done a good job for me. And I don't know if I will ever go back to shared hosting unless I'm building just really simple websites that don't do very much. And like I said, of course, you can start for free, $13 a month. This plan right here should be plenty for you until you start getting huge amounts of traffic. So the other good thing about cloud hosting is it's easily scalable. So you can start here and once you start getting 40 or 50,000 users per month, you can always just slide it on up to this plan right here and it gives you more resources. Honestly, I've never had to go over this, not so far. I've come close a couple times, but I, I mean, really, this is such a powerful cloud computing system. It is great for anything you could use it for. Okay, so what else does it have? It has a free SSL certificate, which is super important. All of the web is going SSL. That's where it has HTTPS instead of HTTP. It's one of the top Google ranking factors. If your site does not have SSL security on it, then you are not very likely to rank. It also has free migration. All three of these have free migration and SSL certificates. And you know, that's one thing that has really driven me crazy in the past. There is a lot of hosting providers that have even shared hosting or more premium hosting that do not offer free SSL certificates. And with some of them, you have to pay an extra $100 per year just to have an SSL certificate on your website. And all three of these, they offer it for free. And all three of these also will do free migration. 
So if you are hosted on GoDaddy or somewhere else already, you can buy any of these plans and they will migrate your website from your old hosting to them for free. So if you're hosted over on GoDaddy or HostGator or Bluehost or anything like that, you can purchase one of these hosting plans and they will move your website for free. So a little bit more about Cloudways. So Cloudways has their own platform. They have different cloud hosting services you can use. They have their own platform and their support is absolutely fantastic. They're, they're fast, they're accurate, and they're always willing to help when you're a customer. So you buy one of these plans. I mean, even whenever you have the free trial, during the free trial, if you contact support and ask them something, they will help you out. They also have bot protection, hacking protection. Um, they have a CDN add-on that's the Cloudway CDN if you want to use a content delivery network through them. But also, one of the things I noticed about them is they have something called the Varnish Cache. And when you turn on the Varnish Cache and you play with it and you get it configured, it does server-side caching, kind of like the Lightspeed server does that we talked about in the shared hosting, but it is super customizable and it is less buggy than the Lightspeed cache. And it makes your website incredibly fast. I built a huge website that had all kinds of crazy plugins and it had all kinds of stuff on the front end. And my website homepage was loading in about five seconds. And then I did some optimization after I built the site, of course, and I turned on the Varnish plugin and before I even did my, my browser side caching inside of WordPress, my server side caching just with the Varnish plugin got me a GT metric score of 97%. If you don't know what that means, that's okay. But my website was loading in 700 milliseconds using Cloudways. And it wasn't even that optimized. It had lots of images on it. It had like 92 server requests. I, I hadn't done any of the CSS minification and compiling. So it, it really is a great service and they, they're one of the best. I would say that this is a premium service. All right, so I highly recommend Cloudways if you're doing anything that's more complex than just a simple website or blog. All right, with that said, let's keep going. There's one more hosting option that I want to talk about before you make your decision or whatever you're doing. Now, let's say that you are a successful person and you have a pretty large budget to start your online business, but you're not a very technical person. You're not very tech savvy or you just want to save a lot of time by not having to deal with as much. I would use Kinsta. Now, the thing about Kinsta is it's fully managed. It has extra security features. You know, WordPress websites get hacked all the time. And they actually have a hack guarantee where they will fix it for you if your website gets hacked, which is great because most of the times my website's been hacked, I've had to deal with it myself. My team's had to deal with it or I've had to pay somebody to fix it. And you might be like, whoa, your website's been hacked? Yeah, it happens to everybody, literally everybody. And, you know, hacking doesn't necessarily mean they have complete control of your site. There was one time there was one going around where they were actually mining cryptocurrency in your users' browsers, which, I mean, and it got installed on a lot of websites. Anyway, moving on, let's look at the plans for Kinsta. Now, these are expensive. And one of the reasons for that is because it is managed. They have teams of people working on this and they have really finely tuned cloud hosting and they use the Google cloud hosting, which as you saw over here on Cloudways, the Google one starts at $33 a month. Kinsta has one that starts at $30 per month. So it's actually pretty reasonable, but they also charge based on uh, unique visitors to the website. Now, if I were to say, build a, a new website, if someone from a Fortune 500 company were to come to me and be like, hey, set us up a website, an online business, what do you need? I would take them right here <laughs> to uh, Kinsta. I mean, I, I, 
I really think that highly of it. They have great service that they offer. They have huge support and everything's really easy to do. But if you have a good budget, you can start with this one. And if when you start getting more traffic, you can always upgrade. So if you were looking at different reviews for hosting and comparisons on websites, it's all about what are you trying to do? What's your budget? If you're trying to do budget shared hosting, use A2 hosting. And let me go back to their plans real quick. And I would suggest doing this one. This is the exact plan that we're going to be working on. And so if you want to get that one and follow along with us, they do free site migrations. So if you have hosting on like GoDaddy or um, HostGator or something like that, you can move your website for free when you buy this hosting and then cancel your other one. They will set it up for you. They'll get it working. I would do this. If you're focusing on cloud, if you want to use cloud hosting, you could use DigitalOcean. You can use Vulture. They're both great cloud web hosts, but do it through Cloudways so that way you can use their system. If you go straight to DigitalOcean, for example, and you get a cloud account, you're going to have to install the control panel yourself. You're going to have to set up all of your own stuff. And uh, I'm a time saver. I don't like to do that. And then Kinsta is the one for the flagship. You aren't worried about spending a little bit more for your budget. Oh, yeah. And then you can do paid yearly. It's a little bit cheaper. But I mean, $300 per year for premium hosting of this level isn't bad at all, to be honest. So usually whenever you look at the hosting review websites, they're not comparing the shared hosting to the cloud hosting to the premium hosting like I'm doing right now. You'll see they're, they're comparing all the shared hosting sites and the best you can get for the cheapest amount, which in that case is A2 hosting. It really is. It's super fast. And then in this case, for just cloud hosting, the best you can get for the cheapest price is Cloudways. And then the best you can get for the cheapest price for like a super premium service is Kinsta, in my opinion. All right, so that's your hosting options, guys. In the next video, we're going to be using that hosting to install WordPress. So go ahead and get started. If you already have a domain purchased from somewhere else, you don't have to hit transfer your domain from another registrar. You can hit, I will use my existing domain and update my name servers. That's what I'm going to do. My domain is actually on GoDaddy and I'll show you that in the next video. But go ahead and type it in here and then type the com there and hit use. If you don't have a domain name yet, then go register new domain and go ahead and just register it right here with your hosting and keep it all in one place. I'll see you guys in the next video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Check out my full course on how to start an online business. Hit the link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.